I'm never drinking red wine again. I was awake till 1 a.m. just laying there. I was told there was only one thing you had to do when you're in Chicago, and that was to flick the bean. But for some reason, it's fenced off. The bean is not getting flicked today. Red wine keeps me awake. <laughs> and I only have one fucking glass. I listened to like two Joe Rogan podcasts and I had to sign. You did have an espresso martini. Oh, it would have been red wine. Caffeine. <laughs> I like Chicago so far. Way better than Vancouver. Why do you keep saying that? Oh, bro, I moved to Vancouver in a happy. I just like it because it triggers you. I think it's down here on the left. We had, oh. we had some really nice. The food here is amazing. Did you have the sweats last night? No. No, me neither. Chicago Bulls tonight? Yeah. I've been stretching my neck in bed. You know when you're in bed, you do one of these ones. Click Bing. my neck. Yeah, fucking. I'm so deconditioned while I'm on this fucking trip that I'm pulling muscles. <laughs> like, Grappling myself. Yeah, fucking hell. Hey, hey. It's a bit premature and illegal. <laughs> that is illegal. Crossing! Name a player that played for the Bulls. Michael Jordan. Okay. Teddy Pippen. Oh, he's running. Oh my god, he knows. Have you seen The Last Dance? I keep referring to it as Save the Last Dance, then I realise that is not, <laughs> not the same film. See, look, the branding from outside looks terrible. Ram. But. Ram. That's it! What's on, mate? What is this little yellow thing here? It looks like you've got this is like New York. York. You've got this is New York, a all parking over. building security hut to get to a fucking egg. Uh, can I get the scrambler as well, please? Sure. Do you say, are you saying espresso or espresso? It's espresso, but I did say espresso. I'm just saying that. Rolling, all the abuse will be recorded. <laughs> oh god, CCTV, do a little push pull session, maybe. Let's get pumped. Yeah, a little yeah. chest back, chest back, chest back. Yeah, good. Yeah, we've had a very good session actually. We can ask Chris about it. We've got Chris doing some exercises he's never done before. Can't wait for him to sell them off to Mike Israel. Mike, Chris here, trained some chest in the gym today. <laughs> A few erroneous exercises that Mr. Smith got me to perform. I was wondering if you could give me some kind of idea of the uh, muscle fibre type recruitment that uh, I could expect to receive from such yes. exercises. Yes, it's the wider of biomechanics. What did you enjoy? What did I enjoy? Uh, TRX rows were surprisingly enjoyable, but pivoted from the very bottom, so feet up against the wall that the actual uh, points on that they're it's connected. It's almost like a down under row that you do on a Smith machine because you get down under. Move, handles apart, which makes it feel way nicer. Assisted pull-ups, steady away. So we did a band, not because I'm too weak to do anything, you know, <laughs> but to uh, ch change the rep range in which we're working. And we did a nice uh, neutral to supinate in cable that chest nice. press. That was nice. It wasn't nice, but it, it was, was but it was fantastic for the pectorals. Did it? Did it? Kim Jong-un burst into tears in front of thousands of, of Koreans as he begged them as he begged them to have more babies and stop the decline of the country's birth rate. The dictator was seen damning his eyes with a handkerchief in a plea to women gathered at Thank National so Mothers' well. Meeting at Pyongyang on Sunday. The United Nations Population Fund estimates that as of 2023, the fertility rate stood at 1.8. It's not stood at 1.8. It's stood at probably 1. 0.6 in South Korea. I, uh, I went down a rabbit hole of the whole North Korea thing. Watched like YouTube videos of people that sneak in there with cameras. There was that geezer who went there and tried nicking a, uh, one of the paintings off the wall. And he... How'd that go? Uh, he died, well, they gave him brain damage, didn't they, when he was released? They gave him brain damage? You know about this? No. What's his name? Um, so he's an American tourist going to North Korea. And basically they have banners up, like propagandist banners. So he took it down and put it in his backpack. If they found out about it, he went to trial in, Amer uh, in North Korea. The Americans tried to extradite him. And in the end, like, uh, he's there like crying in court. His parents, everyone in America is like, we want him back, we want him back. Eventually, North Korea agreed to get him back. And when they get him back, they had to stretch him off the plane. He had severe brain damage. He died in hospital a few days later. The American student from Ohio that was released by North Korea has died at a Cincinnati hospital. Warren Beer returned to the United States just last week, where doctors said that he was in a state of unresponsive wakefulness. <laughs> You mentioned the R naught number the other day. That's what birth rate's like. 
birth rates like the R0 number because if you have fewer people, there's fewer people to have fewer people. And it drops off a cliff. For every 100 South Koreans alive today, there will be four great grandchildren. There's a scientist, a chick, that made a study that I think she said that we're gonna stop, men will stop being fertile in 2036 or something. Men will stop being fertile in 2036. Because the sperm is just there's less and less and less sperm. I do think okay. fertility rates are dropping. So we come all this way, you can't even flick the bean. Wasting my time, fucking idiots. Oh, oh dear God. God. We need some evidence as to why we're so fat when we come home. What'd you get there, E.T.? Red velvet French toast with a side of scrambled eggs. Talk me through your uh, process here. Anything else you're in need of right now? No process. Soon as you get into America, what is this? service uh, grits. Where's grits? Uh, kind of a little bit like oats, but also not like savory oats, kind of. Do you know how they power their, their vehicles in North Korea? With wood. They have like little steam engines in cars, and they put wood on them to, they light a fire to get the car to move. Did you know that in North Korea, they have wood-burning cars? Because of strict international sanctions, oil is very difficult to import into the country. This means they've had to be a little bit creative. All you do is pick up the wood, Chuck it in the engine, and then you're good to go. No, I'm not joking. It's where to go. James Smith's historical fact. Let's go. What was Kim Jong Un's dad called? The one that died. Kim Jong Il. Yeah. When Ch Kim Jong Il got ill. He, um, when he got healed. They, all the people had to go to the street and cry. People got jailed for not crying hard enough. There's a story about Stalin giving a speech and everyone standing up and applauding at the end. Everyone keeps applauding, everyone keeps applauding, everyone keeps applauding. Going for five minutes or so. No one wants to be the first person to stop. The first guy stops and sits down, gets taken out by the police and killed. Why would no one dare stop clapping after Stalin's speeches? In his book, The Gulag Archipelago, one spectator who would one day be sent to the Gulag himself, shared the bizarre and terrifying events at one of Stalin's speeches. People were so scared of being the first one to stop clapping that the applause went on for over 11 minutes. Eventually, the director of a paper factory dared to sit down. That night, he was arrested and sentenced to 10 years in prison. When you think about it, if you had that much power, wouldn't you do that? No, me neither. I'd just have a videographer that got his camera out. So sugary. Red toast. velvet French toast covered in fucking syrup. And you put the syrup on it. And yeah. cream. It's so sugary. Toast. Delicious. You hungry? Not anymore. We're just gonna make sure our friend finishes his breakfast. He has a habit of not finishing food. Four minutes until my six minutes. Come on. Arvidachi. Any wise words for ET? Stop being such a pussy. I'm also a Diana Ball, so these guys will have it sorry. He's on Diana Ball. Did you hear that? I did Diana Ball when I was 20. We all did. If you don't finish this burger, I will fucking strangle you to death. Like I'll show the internet the amount of food you've wasted, the, the amount of money that's been poured down the drain. And I'm watching now, I see everything. I made myself clear. World famous. What's this place called? Al Shabbat. Oh, yeah, look at that. Jeez. That could be the best cheeseburger I've ever had. How many patties are in yours then? Four. Four. Oh, was a double. I thought it was just a double. I didn't know it was a double double. That is incredible. Just had the best cheeseburger of my bloody life. Seeing the Chicago Bulls later. What a time to be alive. I like Chicago. Every part of it feels like a sang out of a movie. I feel like I'm in Gotham. Come on, what's it? Yeah, 
Yeah, just that. Just that, then we'll go. Just that mouthful, then we'll go. Come on. Come on, mate. You barely ate any dinner. You should be fine. Exactly. Yeah, go on. Ooh, there we go. Good man. Good man, Bruce. You're lucky I'm in a good movie team. America's a bit behind. It's weird. When you go to pay for something, can I just tap my card? No, sir. We need the physical card. And then, not only that, you've got to get the bill, give him your card, they go away with your card, do something with your card, come back with the receipt, but then you write the tip and leave? Then they charge your card that you used with them for five... It's like living in the fucking 90s, mate. It's ridiculous. Europe Have you experienced that? Oh, no, wait, you haven't bought anything. Come on. Crossing! You want to piss?